一気に傘をつけるぜ、えー、月が大将 All right, what is going on, guys? My voice back again, coming at you with、uh, how to auto this transcendence zone. Now, a lot of people are asking, like, it's like, oh, who do you use? Who do you use? I'm using these SP based characters, but they're not hitting, and blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm, let's just get right into it. First and foremost, you're going to want to use a frenzy based unit simply because you get more hits.、Um, getting the hits is pretty important because the enemies here don't have much HP, but what they do have is the in. The variable of dodge, right? Some of them won't dodge, some of them have a 33% dodge rate, and the worst sexual offenders are definitely these little tiny buggers that have an 80% dodge rate, which we'll get into in a little bit. But as you see here, stamina level three,、um, this is not necessary at all.、Uh, this is just what I'm personally using. I've seen people use this Yumi Chica, I've seen people use Nini. And、uh, pretty much all you really need is a character with Frenzy because you actually get multiple hits,、uh, which we'll get into in a sec. So、uh, let me just quickly go over the build.、Um, this is the build、uh, SP level 10,、uh, Focus level 5,、uh, 10 10 10 Link slots. You could do it with the 5 5 5 character. Personally, you're going to want a Heal Link, you're going to want Wonder Weiss, and you're going to want a damage reduction or normal attack damage.、Uh, fortunately, I do have Wonder Weiss. If you don't have Wonder Weiss, you can use a Fire Duration 55% with a Spirit Core. Or you can use one of the food items. Finally, they can be somewhat useful.、Uh, if you don't have a gold chappy, you can use an off color gold chappy or a normal attack damage item in replacement here. And then just use a captain's robe.、Uh, as long as you have a heal link, it could be 20% and you're immune to fire, you should be really good to go. Now, these runs do take a long time, which is kind of frustrating.、Uh, but like, characters like Yamamoto are obviously going to be ideal here. However, the, the reality is, most people aren't going to have Yamamoto because the individual hasn't even come out yet, right? So, just going to, into Transcendent Zone, and we're going to do like a quick run just so、uh, I can go over this. One thing to note is you're definitely going to want to bring, well, allies are automatically going to be brought onto the quest, which is why I'm going to leave that there. However,、uh, you're definitely going to want at least two other characters running in the side lanes that can kill the boss because these characters are going to be your cleanup crew. Uh, the final boss can one shot you, and、uh, yeah, you don't want to. <laughs> since you can't retry, you don't want to get one shot and then be forced to lose your five tickets or have to, like, um, you can close and reopen the app and then manual or whatever because you don't want to actually die. All、oh, right, let me go back here and let's just turn on auto. All right, so these enemies do have a 33% dodge rate. Yeah, like this one. Alright, so as you see here, this Wonder Weiss, I do have one still at 5 star. For, so, for those that are interested, if you smash the like button, you'll be enter, entered in a giveaway to get a free copy of Wonder Weiss.、Uh, shout out to Caleb. Never mind, that's definitely like 60 to 80%. Or maybe it's not, I don't know. I know that some of them have 33 to 80%, but you'll see that with the Wonder Weiss Link, we're not taking damage from the burn, which is going to be what actually ends up killing most people. The enemies themselves don't really hit that hard, and even though I do have a stamina level 3 Link, you'll see that we never really go below like 4500 HP. So if you have like 1500 HP, you should, you should quote unquote, in theory, be okay. Right? With the heal Link, we're going to heal right back up. Now, obviously, I would recommend using a Link slotted character that's 10 10 10。I would definitely advise you guys to max that out ASAP because I want you guys to farm this while you can.、Uh, I've personally been farming quite a lot. I plan to go up to like maybe 2,000 to maybe 4,000 Hokyokus. I've even contemplated. <laughs> I've even contemplated getting a 585 pack in order to farm this event. I'm not even joking. Because, like, the reality is 135 Hogyokus is what it takes to max transcend a unit. If you can mass farm Hogyokus and not have to worry about PvP, sure, if you want extreme co op, you can do it for the brushes and you can do it for、um, the tickets for five star accessories. But now you'll actually be able to get Hogyokus in a reasonable amount of time. They will bring this back eventually, but we don't know exactly who they're going to make the next bypass dodge character. We're pretty sure that it's. Okay. Be careful with summoning for Yamamoto for this quest. The reason for that is the next time this quest comes back, it probably won't allow you to use Yamamoto since this place is attribute restricted. Okay? So just be careful with that. Because what, what, what happens is, back in the day, when Inheritance Zone came out, it used, to be, it used to go on for a week, 
it used to be one attribute and then after that uh you'd have to wait like a month and then another attribute comes out for different link slot potions so be very careful and mindful about like mass farming this now because we don't know when this will come back because we're not sure if this is coming back next month i'm pretty sure this might this is very potentially going to be something that comes back each month but it might come back in every two months they might have to like tweak a few things to make sure that it isn't so annoying because like this is annoying right but it's audible which i think is good that, that that's the important part all right so this ichigo can one shot you so this is why i tell you to want not only bring an ally but bring side units so we bring them to half hp i'm gonna skip this ultimate now we're weakened right No, Toki not is the best. <laughs> All right, and uh, just like I said, they've already started uh, offering compensation within like not even not even that long. I'm I'm actually surprised that they responded so fast. Boom, boom. All the Hogiokus in the world, excellent. And just hit retry, and then you can continue to do that. Now I'm not gonna do any more runs because I don't want this video to be longer than it really needs to. But um, that's pretty much all you really need to know, like. I tried it with Hiyori, um, she didn't really do all that well. I tried it with Kenny, didn't really do all that well. Mind you, with this same build. But the thing is, when you're using an SP-based character, they do have Frenzy. The multiple hits will actually support your entire team. No, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. Uh, the Frenzy will allow you to actually hit the enemies, and those enemies with 80% dodge rate are such a, <clears throat> they're such a pain. So honestly, if you have a character like Uryu, Uryu should be actually very perfect here. Uh, Rukia should be good. Any character with strong attack recharge would probably be ideal. Alright, so quickly, I'm just going to go over here. So, 6 star tech units. You can only use tech units, right? And then you're going to want to use a strong attack recharge character. And then I think that they have Frenzy somewhere down here. Oh, there at the top. Boom. Yeah, so literally almost every single character here should be able to auto it just fine. Uh, characters like Ginzuru that have guard break might actually be even better. So that's why I personally like uh, Uryu and Ginzuru. Actually, I'm, I'm probably going to switch the Ichigo for Uryu. I, I didn't even think of that, but the rea like the fact that... Oh, the fact that he not only heals when he gets confused from the enemies and he has guard break, that's actually going to be really clutch. Obviously, Yamamoto is going to be the best. But I don't think that it's necessary to have this Yamamoto. And I personally use Nad characters on the side because by then you don't need to guard break the enemy. Uh, the final boss, like these two characters have vortexes. So usually they'll be able to protect themselves quite a bit. But I'm going to leave it at that. You know, guys, grind on, catch up, me, stay blessed. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that this video actually uh, is worthy of your thumbs up today. <laughs> Anyways, stay blessed, y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.